In the Middle East, bartering is an art form. Getting the best price can become a day-long affair. Shoppers and retailers alike enjoying a good barter. Not me. When I was little, my grandma and my mom used to take me shopping with them. One time, we went into Woolworths in Sudbury, where both of these women decided, conveniently, they did not speak English. I remember standing with them as they looked over some merchandise, an attentive sales clerk ready to help. My grandmother turns to me and says in Lebanese, tell her I'll give her $2 for this shirt. Obediently, I say, my grandma will give you $2 for the shirt. I will never forget the look on that woman's face. Seriously, tight, pale, thin lips. The price is clearly marked on the tag at $4.95. She was mad at me. So I start getting a little teary-eyed, and I say to my grandma, the, the price is on the tag, grandma. My grandmother then gets mad at me and says, tell her again, I'll give her two bucks for the shirt. I can't, because by now I'm crying. When elephants fight, the grass gets trampled. So there I was, straddling two cultures, one my future, one my present, a no-win situation. There'd be many such negotiations in my life. Ultimately, there was no harm done. The only thing I lost was my ability to haggle. Listen, I'd rather pay with money than with anything else. 